Number 38. Complete and balance each of the following half reactions. And then we have letter F, right? This is only steps two through five in our half reactant method. So we have letter F. And in this case, we have to balance uh, nitrate ion, which is NO3 minus, right? And that's aqueous. And this is turning into nitrous acid, HNO2 aqueous. And they tell us that we have to specifically balance this in an acidic solution. So I wrote down all of the steps in which we can balance redox reactions in a acidic solution. However, since they only gave us a half reaction, right? They only said this was a half reaction. We only have to do a few of these steps. So I just wanted to give you all these steps just so that you guys have it, but we're only going to be doing step two through five here because they gave us a half reaction, right? The first step, if we were given a full reaction is to break it into the half reaction. So this is done. Now let's get to it. So we're going to balance all the elements except hydrogen and except oxygen. So look out for any other element, um, except for hydrogen and except for oxygen. Well, if I scan, right, I only see one additional element. I have a nitrogen on the left side and I have a nitrogen on the right side. I'm not going to balance this oxygen because that's not in this step. And I can't balance the hydrogen or the oxygen here because that's not this step. But if I just look at the nitrogens, right, I have one nitrogen here and I have one nitrogen here. So that's already balanced. I don't have to really do step two mainly because it was balanced already for me. So that step's done. Now I'm going to balance oxygen by adding water, which is H2O. Now here's a quick uh, trick for you guys to know that if you need to add one oxygen, you're always going to add it in terms of one H2O, mainly because in water, there's only one oxygen. So if you need to balance two oxygens, you'll add two H2Os, three oxygens, three H2Os. So let's see, I have an oxygen here, right? And I have an oxygen here. Let's see how many we got of each. So on the left-hand side, on the reactant side, I have three oxygens, right? This three goes to the oxygen. So I have three. And on this side, I have two, right? That two goes with the oxygen. So it looks like they're not balanced and I need to balance them. I need to add one more oxygen, it seems, on my, react on my product side to get to three. So I need one more oxygen, so I'll add it as one more H2O. And there you go, two oxygens plus one extra oxygen is a total of three. So now the oxygens are balanced, and I'm just going to check that off. The next step is to go for the H's. So Oxygen first and then hydrogen. Don't do it the other way around. And we balance the hydrogen by adding H plus. And the same type of rule applies. If you need one hydrogen, you're going to add it as one H plus. And don't forget that plus, the plus one charge in the upper right hand corner. So if you need two hydrogens, you'll add two H plus. It's the same type of idea. So let's see. On my reactant side, I have no hydrogen, so cool, right? And on my product side, I have a couple of places where there's hydrogen. I have a hydrogen here, and I have a hydrogen here. So I have to count up the total. From this compound, I only have one hydrogen, but it's being added, so plus. I have another hydrogen here, but that's two of them. So I have a total, right? This was two. So I have a total of three hydrogen on my product side, and I have no hydrogen on my reactant side. So if I need to get to three, I know that I have to add, you got it guys, right? Three H plus. Now that step's done. So I'm just going to erase this. Okay. Now comes the fun part. We have to balance the charges. And we balance the charges by adding electrons. Electrons are negative. That's why there's a negative charge here when we just simplify electrons. We write them as E negative. And it's a negative one. And we're always going to add those electrons to the more positive side. 
So the first thing is, is we got to figure out which side is more positive. This is when we find the total charge on the left side, total charge on the right side, and compare them. So what I like to do is I like to just write a little break here, just to make sure that I get the total charge on this side and on this side. And all we got to do is really just look in the upper right hand corner for each individual, um, we'll say molecule, right? So I don't care about like the actual charges of nitrogen and oxygen. I just want to know the overall charge. So let's just work from left to right. Here's hydrogen. What's the overall charge of this? Well, I see in the upper right hand corner, there was a plus, right? And if it's just a plus, it's a plus one. All other numbers, they would have to tell you. And you have three of these. So if I have three hydrogens and each one is a plus one, three times a plus one is a total of a plus three coming from this uh, molecule, right? Or H plus, this ion. Now we got to do the same thing here. So I see now a negative, right? It's a negative one. And I only have one. I don't see a number in front of NO3. So that's the charge, the overall charge. And now since these are being added together, I just add the charges together. So a plus three plus a negative one, AKA three minus one is a plus two. And I'm just gonna hold that overall charge. So now the overall charge of the left-hand side was a plus two. Now we gotta do the same thing for the right side. However, for these, I don't see any charges in the upper right-hand corner for both of these, right? So what number would they be, right? They're, they can't be positive and they can't be negative. So what's the only number that's not a positive or a negative value? Yeah, it's zero. So both of these would be zero. And I don't care how many I have in the front, right? Anything times zero is uh, zero. So this would be an overall zero charge plus an overall zero charge, so zero. Okay, now we compare. Which side is more positive? Yeah, totally, the reactant side, right? A plus two is more positive than a zero. So I know that I'm gonna add my electrons on this side, right? We always add electrons to the more positive side. But now how many? Do I add one electron? Do I add two? The answer lies in bringing your positive number down to the the neg uh, the more negative number, right? So in this case, you want to make them equal. How many electrons would I have to add to bring a plus two down to a zero? You think about it in terms of a number line. I have to go down two spots, right? I go down to a one and then to a zero. Those many bunny hops is how many electrons you would add. So in this case, you would add two electrons. And we're done. So the overall answer would be 2e minus plus 3h plus, plus NO3 minus aqueous, if you want to write the, the states, um, and then HNO2 aqueous, and then water. There's really nothing that we can cancel out. Everything is uh, unique, and there's no uh, the same molecules on both sides, right? So we can't cancel anything out. So this would be the answer. All right. That's pretty, pretty nice. Hopefully you guys are, are getting it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, and yeah, thanks for viewing the video. Thanks for checking us out. Uh, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love hearing from you guys. And good luck on all those tests and quizzes, okay? I'm rooting for you. All right? I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.